What's happening? I'm Mark Tremonti. And I'm Miles Kennedy. We're from Alter Bridge, and you're watching Loudwire. Uh, so when I was a kid, um, my older brother Dan used to listen to metal upstairs, and I always heard this song about a sanitarium, and uh, it would turn into one of my favorite songs from my favorite records, Master of Puppets, and um, Welcome Home Sanitarium. <laughs> Last time we were here, I played that on the little um, uh, Hello Kitty guitar. But uh, yeah, this, that riff is one of my very first riffs I ever played. Well, it was the second riff I ever learned to play, uh, which is Judas Priest. I was at a friend of mine's house. He was a drummer, and he had a guitar, but he had a guitar. And I remember I picked up the guitar, and he's like, "You want to learn how to play Breaking the Law?" And I was like, "Well, yeah." That would, be, that would be awesome, but I thought it would be way too hard. I was like, oh, it seems so intimidating. So he showed it to me, and... And I, I tell you what, that was, that might be one of, outside of the first time I had sex, that might have been the best moment of my life. <laughs> one that gave me a little bit of trouble initially was the riff for rock and roll by, by Led Zeppelin. I think as I was still, I'd only been playing for a few months at that point, but it still felt pretty good to, to get it on. And I haven't, I'm, I haven't even rehearsed this, so this could be interesting. Uh. When I was a kid, I would um, I had a four-track recording device, and uh, the first time I wrote a song where I was like, "That's a, you know, it's I, I can write songs." The first song I wrote that I liked was. Someone was like, "That's just Purple Rain, man. That's just Purple Rain. You're doing it," but you know. People repeat the same chord progressions all the time, but that was kind of the first thing where I was like, you know, it's it's something other than just a bunch of gibberish on the guitar, so. How about you, Miles? How about me? Um, there's a song called Lonely Nights. It's like, uh, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> First song, that was, that was like this. I think it might have been the first or second song. Yeah. The Blackbird. Yeah. I like that one too. Just to stay on that one, that did probably the riff that. Uh, It's interesting that two of our, each of our favorite riffs was uh, mm -hmm. that song. I think the Smoke on the Water and the Iron Man riffs are the two most iconic, most um, learned riffs of all time. Yeah, I mean, they're simple stuff, power chords, but um, you never forget them once you hear them. It's just ACDC's got every, every single ACDC riff. So and we went back to this last night. The yeah, that's a good one. So um, when we were writing um, Walking the Sky, 
we always try to come up with something a little different. So, you know, we, we write in different ways, but when I was writing, I, uh, I tried to bring in some kind of strange loops. I'll go online and I'll find just loops. And I, and I uh, came across some old 80s, John Carpenter-esque, old school synthwave stuff. You know, I fell into a loop that was... That's really the engine of the song, that the kind of the mood of the song. And um, I kept on just trying to dive back into that. And uh, it, it just gave the, the song a different vibe than we'd normally go for. And uh, simple, simple riff, but, but I dug it and it stuck and uh, created a song from it. Pain no mind. The story behind this riff um, is that we had been submitting demos and Elvis, our producer, is always looking for like a certain thing um, and he felt like we just didn't have that box checked yet. So um, I remember sending him some demos and thinking, oh, we've got it, we're good, it's going to be great. He goes, I need to talk to you. I'm like, oh, all right, this can't be good. And so he's like, look. You guys aren't there yet. You got to, you got to go back to the drawing board. So I remember I hung up the phone, and I was just like, I picked up the guitar, and I was just like, and I, so it was, it was essentially the kind of the frustration that inspired, <laughs> inspired the you know, you know. It was just so angry. But in the end, um, I'm actually really glad that we had that conversation because you know, sometimes that's what it takes. It's just a little, little nudge. Yeah.